What's going on, YouTube? Graves in the here, and welcome to episode five of season four. So I've done a couple of things in between episodes. Wanted to share those with you guys. Let's start over here on this side. So all I did over here is I went ahead and I put in a pathway that kind of just goes alongside the river. Strictly for aesthetics, there's I don't think there's going to be a single soul that finds this useful to uh, to travel via this pathway, but I thought it'd be something nice to uh, to put in. I even worked really hard and put in like a little sign, some uh, some lights to give it uh, to give it lighting and everything. And over here we have like a little picnic area that connects down. What? Right over here. So nothing too fancy. Maybe somebody you know wants to get out from their house, come out here, sit by the river, enjoy the views out. Well, <laughs> just enjoy enjoy the sound of the river. How about that? Bring your kids out, let them play. Put in some lights too. That way, in the evenings, once it gets dark, it's nice and lit up. Uh, coming over here, I also put in some fencing coming around. So I just pretty much separated the farming area from the residential area via this farm fence. The mayor's mansion got some additional pathways that you can see coming along just right here. Nothing too fancy. And I still like the way this turned out. Really nice. And let's see. Oh, so coming back over here, I noticed that we didn't have any fire and police coverage. So I went ahead and added a fire and police station, complemented it with a dog park right there. And for additional land value boost, I put in a nice little volleyball park over here as well. So I thought that was kind of a uh, kind of cool. So aside from that, there's nothing else new in that area. But over here, I added some additional uh, gravel roads just to fill in some more of the industry demand that we are hopefully going to have in the near future. So there is that. Uh, yes, the bridge. So I reworked the bridge just a little bit. So if you guys recall, we only had these three, say, pillars. And um, well, it, it was great up until here. But then when you came over here to this side, there was a, um, a really annoying curve or a slope that uh, just really got on my nerves and I decided to rework it a little bit better. There's still a tiny little curve right here. Not sure if you can even tell, but uh, it's, it's better than what it was. A little bit of terraforming was done here as well. And I went ahead and decorated this little cliff right here with some rocks some trees and whatnot. Nothing too fancy. Now, let's see. Oh, and I let the game run for a little while because if you guys recall, at the end of the last episode, we were broke. So we have 250,000 in the bank, about 6,000 coming in per week, 6,300 in population an enormous demand for residential commercial and a little bit of industry demand. So the goal for this episode is going to be to reach this 7,000th milestone. That's going to give us a new area, new features such as campus areas and taxation policies. We have a bunch of new services, including the inner city buses, a uh, blimp, which could be nice as well for the small town feel. Uh, IT cluster, leisure, specialization. We have a whole lot of new policies that we can uh, mess with. New zoning. We have high density residential, commercial, and offices. And new buildings. New buildings. That is definitely something that, uh, that I like to see. So we're going to use some of these new buildings. And we're going to rework all of this right here. If we take a look at, let's see, let's go into economy, budget, no, not there. Um, 
No, it is. It is budget. What am I talking about? So power we have at 110%. We're a little bit low on power. And water we have at 80%. Actually, we can raise that back up to 100. But uh, power wise, we are. Well, once the, the fog comes through and everything, we're going to be a little bit low. I was, I was messing with that not too long ago. So power, we're going to rework completely. We'll, we'll get rid of a lot of this polluting stuff right here, such as the power facilities and the inland water treatment plants. We're going to replace them with some of these eco water treatment plants, which I'm thinking should be nicer. And we'll get rid of the landfill too. So hopefully we'll have enough money for that project. Not sure if it's going to happen this episode or next, but that's kind of what I have in mind. So I think we should, uh, we should get to work. Uh, before we do that, actually, last thing I want to mention is district here. So this district right here, we're going to come through and we're going to give it a policy. That policy is going to be the schools out policy. And the reason I'm doing this is because as the city grows, we're going to, or as we build a university, I should say. Most folks are going to get a education, a university education. They're not going to want to do the um, the farming jobs, which require zero education. So the schools out policy, what it does is it applies to those who have not yet gone to university. And as you can see, the description up there, it says the citizens will prefer working over education and only a small portion of eligible citizens will go to study in the university. If we come through here, and take a look at say one of these farming buildings you can see that they only only require uneducated workers and it doesn't matter which building it is there's no level one two or three in in farming or forestry they all require only uneducated workers so that's what I want to prevent is the shortage of uneducated workers to be able to fill in the jobs, the farming jobs that we currently have and the new ones that will open up in the future. Now, I'm thinking that the new residential area that we build is going to have that same policy as well. That new residential area, I think, is going to be somewhere right over here. But we'll see. We'll see. Let me give this uh, design over here just a little bit of thought and I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start putting some, uh, some road work down. I am thinking that this area is going to be just as free formed as this one over here. Oh, by the way, before we do anything, let's make sure that we don't forget to district this area. And I'll come through here later. I'll clean it up, I promise. So we'll do that right there. Pine Park, it looks like, is the new name. We'll, we'll change that or remove it completely like we did on the other side. And let's see. Where do we want to have a main road leading into this neighborhood? I am thinking somewhere it's a little too close to the bridge. So I'm thinking somewhere over here, like, so should we have it curve on that side or this side? I think we can curve it on this side. That will, that'll give us more, more room to, to build here. And you know, what would be kind of cool too is to have a road that runs parallel with the train track. And it starts to curve here. So that's there. We connect to there, there and Oh, I don't know. Maybe here. Something like that. Is it going to continue on here? 
kind of, but we can Try again over here on this side and we will. Okay, so it's closer right here to being parallel. That's okay. We'll do that right there. And is it gonna let us connect here? It won't. Okay, that's okay. No problem. So that is how we're gonna keep that right there. Over here as a reminder, let's build a road just like that. And I love the way this looks right here. We've got the little ramps that come up and down. Really cool. Oh, traffic lights. Let's make sure we turn those off and those off. And all right, so in here, this is where our residential area is gonna be. I'm gonna want a little commercial pocket just right here. And I think that we're gonna have two access points into this commercial pocket. One is gonna be, let me turn that off. One's gonna be right there. And another one, say from, it's a little too big, say from here. There we go, something like that. And then we'll branch off this way for additional commercial. And all of this right here then is gonna have to be residential. So let's let's kind of get an idea over where we wanna have things. So a main road through the residential area is gonna go from there and hook up with the commercial area right there. And on here, we don't need the grass because that's where the commercial area is gonna stop or the residential area is gonna stop. Do something right there. I mentioned this to you guys before, I'll mention it again. Uh, building a layout like this when you're trying to expand or increase your population is, is just as if you were to shoot yourself in the foot because you're wasting a whole lot of zonable space. You're not utilizing all of it like you would if you were building just, um, just regular symmetrical blocks, if you will. Grids is, I guess, what I'm trying to say here but it's it's okay. I, I mentioned I do want the small town feels over here and that's kind of what I'm going for. So that's what we'll keep. Couple of branches over here should be okay. A connection to there. What do we do here? People are gonna wanna know why this road here just stops at a dead end. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe once we unlock this area right here, we'll, we'll continue it. So, okay, all right, we have a layout, we have a district. Let me make sure that covers everything. It does more than enough. Uh, district here, I'm gonna want let me go back over here. I'm gonna to wanna to change up the other uh, zoning in this district. So I want it to be European suburbia. And that's what we're gonna have. Over here, we have the uh, the, the green housing, low density density housing. Here, we're gonna have the, uh, the European suburbia. We're gonna to need to start off with some services. And I'm thinking that a park possibly over here should be good. And that is also gonna give us a gateway to, perfect, to transfer power. So we're gonna go here, hook up power to right there. And let's zone a little bit of residential. 
cool. So for this, I'm going to put the game on three speed. We are going to require some services over here as well, as I mentioned before. So we're going to start with a police station right here and then a fire station right behind it. So that should be good. And that'll transfer power here in just a moment. So police fire, we have a park schools wouldn't be a terrible idea to have here as well at the very least an elementary school so let's move power to this side actually you know what this is a perfect place right here for an elementary school let's just add a little side road something like that There we go. It's already got a park, but what's going on with power? Oh, this stuff right here is not connected and doing us zero favors. So let's just do that for the time being. And we're good. All right, back in business. Uh, park wise, park wise, let's add a playground right there. We'll decorate everything with trees later. And population's going up. We are at 6345. So that is good. I'm gonna put another park. You know what? Let's go with a dog park. Those are those are nicer and hopefully increase land value a little bit more than that one thousand dollar park. I was initially gonna put a school right here, but ooh, I said no zoning there. Uh, but over on the other area, on the other side, I liked it a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. Commercial, yes, commercial. So here's how you can kind of shift your, shift your demands, right? Currently you have zero residential demand, but you have a screaming demand for commercial. So what we're going to do is we're going to zone a little bit of commercial right here. And you'll notice that the residential demand is going to come back up. It works the same way if you only have like a industry demand and you have no demand for anything else. Obviously, your city is telling you that they want additional um, jobs before they they move into the city. So that's how you kind of shift that demand a little bit. And you'll notice or it's it's already popping up a little bit that um, residential demand had we not zoned all of this right here it would have been higher up and power did we not transfer power here not yet so once a home zones here we should be good to go I think maybe not Yeah, right here, right here should be good. But just to help out, let's put in a plaza right there. And then what we can do here to give some of these folks an easier access to the shopping area is just put in a pathway right there. That'll give them a walking way through there. And we can do the same thing, say, bringing everybody there into that corner. As soon as we get a home built right here, power will transfer. And that industry demand is it's just there. It's not really doing anything. So I am going to put in a few more farm. Just something like that. So we can say that we did a. Uh, with the, that we did provide and they can do what they want come on power need one home right here right here okay 
uh, commercial demand isn't going away. And you know what? I think, I think I'm going to be okay zoning all of this right here. I think that should be good. Oh, and this is a regular commercial, by the way, so it's going to look different than what we have over here. Part of the uh, the Green Cities DLC right here. This right here, regular commercial. You'll notice the difference in buildings too. So I'm a little bit annoyed. And I'll do that. All right, should be should be good to go. Now we can keep zoning residential right over here. So again, I mentioned before, the goal is going to be to get to um, 7,000 in population. So what I'm going to do here is I'll zone, I'll zone all of this and hope that it goes quickly because I really don't want to do anything else or much of anything else until we hit that next milestone. There we go. All right, commercial, we'll zone a little bit of that as well. Over here on this side, actually here would be a good place to add a road comes just to there and kind of goes in here a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let the game run a little bit uh, without just sitting here and having you guys look at it. Uh, hopefully we hit that 7,000 pretty soon. I'll try not to build anything. I'm just going to adjust the zoning if needed until we hit that milestone and I'll be back. By the way, look at that weekly income. We are at 10, 10. We were at 13 just a moment ago. So I think we're doing just a, okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. So we have reached our desired milestone 7,000 in population with this we've unlocked a new area campus areas taxation policies a bunch of new services we have the it cluster specialization that we can use we also have leisure new policies that we can mess with as well and we have high density residential commercial and office zones bunch of new buildings which will certainly come in handy and that's that. So I am excited. I'm excited. So here is what I would like to do without trying to um, to make this a super long episode. By the way, in between or while I was waiting for everything to to get to that 7000 point, I, I put in some trees and that's really it. Oh, and a couple of a uh, couple of pathways, one going here, one going here. And that's that I promise. So um, here's what I would like to do. I'd like to get a start on reworking this area right here, converting some of this dirty power into clean power energy, if you will, and removing the, uh, the landfill, which means that we're going to have to utilize a lot more of the recycling centers and the, um, the water waste. So. Let me give that a little bit of thought. I'm thinking about doing something right here as far as the other uh, clean power goes, but I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll give it some thought and I will be back. All right, guys, so I decided to turn the build of this into a time lapse simply because it took way too long to uh to build and kind of put all the bits and pieces together and whatnot i had to bulldoze and then rebuild a bunch of stuff which is okay you know the bulldozer tool is there for a reason but i just want to uh want to make this uh an hour hour and a half long episode that you have to sit sit through and watch so a lot of the stuff that's built i'm, I'm quite happy with and we'll 
probably keep for the long run. Some of the stuff I will mention later on in in the episode that I'm not uh, that I'm not happy with, and we will have to rebuild, replace, and kind of uh, kind of go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the time lapse. I'm gonna leave you with it, and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, this is kind of what I've come up with. So it also appears we're having a, uh, a death wave happening as well, which is a okay, no problem. Uh, what? I guess I hadn't thought of everything. So let's currently temporarily just give these guys some power over here. So I've, I've rebuilt everything. I'm not sure if, uh, if there is any commentary in the time lapse before this one, actually, I'm not even sure if there is a time lapse. I guess uh, you, well, we're gonna find out together. How about that? Um, but I took out all of the polluting or highly polluting uh, eco water or water treatment plants, inland water treatment plants. Replaced them with six of the eco water treatment plants. I rebuilt the uh, the firehouse here just because common sense, right? I put in one, two, three, four, five of the recycling centers. I'm not even sure that that's enough. Let me see. Barely, it's barely enough. We do have room for expansion right here. This is why I created this little roundabout for the um, the incinerators, should we need them. 
Uh, so sewage wise, I think we should be okay. We're okay. We're doing okay on water as well. And then power. So power, I kind of built this area right here just solely for these solar updraft towers. But I don't think we need all this power that we're producing. Look at that. We're producing 595. We're only consuming 120. What? So uh, let's go into our budget. We're going to adjust our power budget down to... I think we can even get away with 50%. Not really. So we'll go to 75 and call it good. Now we'll know that later on should we run into power issues. We can easily just increase the budget. But yeah, this death wave is uh, is definitely happening. Most definitely happening. We only have one um, crematorium here. So I think we could benefit from an additional crematorium just to help us clean all this up because these guys are screaming for help. So an additional crematorium, or not crematorium, um, what am I saying? When do we unlock that, by the way? 16,000. So yeah, we definitely need another cemetery is what I'm trying to say. And I'm thinking that right here wouldn't be a terrible idea to place one. One, it's going to bring up the land value, make a bunch of folks happy. And two, it'll give us that additional coverage that we need on this side of the city. Because we do have some dead bodies here as well. And they'll travel to this area here too and clean uh, clean that up as well. So that's kind of what we're uh, what we're dealing with, uh, with right now. I really like the look of the uh, the European homes, European suburbia. I think they look really nice. Some of these on the hill right here. <laughs> Funny looking, but uh, it's all good. It's got that really nice cozy feel. Now we are missing some trees over here, which we'll, we'll get to in the near future. But that demand for residential has not gone away, especially right now since we're having this death wave. Lots of people are dying off and new people are wanting to move in. So I am going to zone just a little bit right here. I think eventually I'm going to want a road that goes from here kind of under the bridge and connects with whatever we end up building here. So yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to let the game run for a little bit, let this death wave kind of um fix itself, right? Let them uh, collect, collect all the dead bodies and I will be back. I actually don't even know how long this uh, this episode is going to be right now, so I got to I got to check the uh, the timestamps on that, make sure I'm not making you guys sit through an hour's worth of an episode. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the death wave is coming to an end. Just a few remaining bodies actually didn't take too long to, uh, to clean everything up. Uh, we have a couple of abandoned buildings that I'm just gonna say goodbye to. And we're good. So all in all, I really like the way this turned out um, more this than this. I am seeing that these uh, these pollute quite a bit still. So even though they're the eco inland water treatment plants, they do pollute, uh, pollute, pollute a bunch. So I don't know if they're going to be here to stay. We'll see. But as uh, as the rain is coming in. I think I'm going to say goodbye to you guys until next episode. I think we did good. We're at uh, nearly 8,000 in population, slowly growing. And yeah. So, as always, be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I will see you guys on the next one.